I recently had the opportunity to visit SNS Worldwide up in Logan, Utah to take a ride on their new Axis prototype. This is something that they've been working on for the past few years, but needed to build a physical representation of this ride to make sure that everything worked. So they set it up outside their factory, and I'm so grateful that I had the opportunity to get on it, test it out, see how it feels, how it rides, and let me say, it is like nothing else I've ever done. This is one of the coolest concepts I have ever seen. So in this video, I'm gonna be discussing not necessarily my review of the prototype, because you have to remember that this is not meant to be a complete ride. This is just a small portion of what you could expect. So for that reason, it doesn't really make sense to do a review on something that is supposed to lead to bigger and better things. So instead, I'm really gonna be focusing on the vehicles and the specific maneuvers that affect how that vehicle rotates. Because some of those elements on the prototype, you could definitely expect to see on a full-size version of this. So I just wanna clarify that this is gonna be very different from all the other reviews I've done. I'm not going to give it a score at the end of the video. And again, I just want to make it clear that this ride is on private property, is at the SNS Worldwide Factory, is not open to the public. The people that were there with me riding it were family members of some of the people that built the attraction or just various people who were involved in making the prototype happen. So again, I want to give a big thanks to everyone at SNS for helping make this video possible so I can come and talk to you guys about this. But hopefully we will see a much larger version of this open up to the public at an amusement park. Because I I love this concept. It's such a funky looking ride. When you look at the various maneuvers that they've worked into this layout, you're like, what kind of ride vehicle would work with this thing? You start upright, but then you go inverted. It's just a very strange looking thing, but it's because this vehicle rotates side to side about an axis, hence why it is called axis. A lot of people are drawing similarities to an old aero suspended coaster. Keep in mind, this is very different. I didn't think it felt anything like an aero suspended coaster feels. I think it feels a whole lot better. If you watched another video that I released about this coaster, we spoke with Preston Perks from SNS and he answered a lot of great questions about what you could expect to see from a ride like this. And he drew a lot of comparisons to their 4D free spin models, which if you think about it, actually aren't a whole lot different. Those flip front to back, this is just flipping you side to side. And since I've now had the opportunity to do both of those variations, I can say I'm a big fan of Axis and I actually really prefer it to the free spin. Main reason being Axis is so comfortable. It takes the flips and the transitions so naturally. Some of those flips on the free spin, you know, they're very abrupt. I've always said that it kind of feels like a Huss top spin, but on roller coaster track, this very much feels like a roller coaster, but it's doing things that we just haven't seen before. Probably the only other thing that you could compare it to is, is Tranen. That's an SNS product over in Sweden. Very different train design though. You actually ride outside of it, a very different setup. This is also designed to take you upside down. And I think when it actually does invert, it still feels like a roller coaster inversion. No part of this I would really compare with a flat ride. That inversion that they included on this prototype was just an amazing experience. It's so cool. You really just get flung over the top. If a full-size version would have multiple variations of that, then I think we're really in for a great ride. One thing I love that Preston said is that the possibilities for this layout are almost limitless. This is just a sneak peek of what you could expect. And if this prototype blew me away, I think a full-size version is going to be insane. I can't wait to see what they have up their sleeve. Now, next, I want to talk about this roll that they have on the prototype, where track-wise, it looks like it'd be an inline twist. But this does not actually take you upside down. You're, for the most part, remaining upright. There's definitely some swinging back and forth. I'm going to talk about this swinging a bit later but it is so cool when you are rotating around the track where you go from below it to now you're above it now you're sideways it's just so hard to describe that feeling one of the things that I really enjoyed while riding this because I got on it about seven times was riding in the second row and then you can watch the flips and rotations of the row in front of you I actually preferred riding in the second row than the first row simply because I thought it was so cool physically seeing how we're rotating. And I think some people could look at that and be kind of disappointed where it's like, oh, well, that would be an inversion, but here it's not. It doesn't take you upside down. That's no fun. No, trust me. It's fun. It's, it's awesome. It's just another one of those unique and different sensations that we're not used to feeling. I also loved the tight turn going back towards the launch section because even though it's not a flip or an inversion, 
Brandon. When you're going around that tight radius, your vehicle swings to the left. And that brings me to an important point that while the vehicle's rotation is impacted by the weight, it is not completely dependent on it. Like it will still swing and flip if the vehicle is empty or if it's off balance. The way Preston put it is that they've made it so that they pretty much know what's gonna happen when. When weight really impacts it is when you're getting in and out of the vehicle. I rode with my friend Arthur and I'm just a little bit lighter than Arthur and so when we were both seated in the vehicle, my side was slightly higher and his side was slightly lower. And then let's say that we get out at different times if I stand up and get out of my seat, his side will move towards the ground. So it made getting in and out of the vehicle kind of fun. If you go back and watch the video that I already referenced, Preston talks about how they actually plan on having an inverted loading position. So the track would be above you, just makes a lot more sense. It was actually pretty complicated getting in and out of the vehicles because they had set up wooden platforms. But I think there's just so much that you could do with this concept. Really use your imagination. So you depart out of the station, you go up a lift hill. Well, this doesn't have to be your traditional lift hill. The track could face whatever direction it wants and you'd still be upright. So make that lift hill sideways, upside down, right side up, doesn't matter. So I think that's just so much fun. A concept like this really relies on creative minds to form a brilliant layout. And that's why I can't wait to see what the people from SNS come up with. The layout just has so much potential. And you look at the free spins, how that's just a standard layout every single time. It's been cloned all over the world. I think a cloned layout could work for this, and I wouldn't be surprised if we see a cloned layout. However, I think a design like this lends itself to just so many options that I think it would be a shame if we only ever saw this with one layout. You could do whatever you wanted, and that's what's so cool about this. And one of the big questions everyone is wondering is now, when could we see one of these show up at a park? You know, it's the end of 2019 now, for sure, there's no way we could see one come out in 2020, and they're still in the prototyping phase. So I think the very, very earliest we could see one of these is 2021, but I would not be surprised if it ends up being 2022. It just depends on a lot of different factors. But a concept like this just gets me so excited. The prototype was brilliant. I love how SNS is innovating and coming up with something completely different. I think so much of the future of roller coasters is dependent on a concept like this because it's just gonna completely change what they can do as far as we know it. But I wanna hear your thoughts. What do you think of this new concept? What parks do you think it would fit well at? And what type of layouts do you think we could see? I think your guess is as good as mine. Use your imagination. There's so many possibilities. Possibilities. But I hope you enjoyed hearing about my thoughts on Axis, the new prototype from SNS Worldwide. If you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe. I have lots of other Axis videos on my channel. And of course, you can stay tuned for more as we learn more about this concept and hopefully one day see a park acquire one of these. I'll be sure to cover it here at Coaster Studios. So thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time.